Alrighty, Roo, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Today we're checking out the Umarex Gauntlet 2 hunting kit from Pyramid Air. For more information on this bad boy, shoot on over to pyramidair.com. There will be a link in the description. This is available in 22, 25, or 30 caliber, and you basically get a Mantis 4 to 12 power by 40 scope. You get a UTG Pro M Lock Picatinny rail. So you can slap that on the bottom of your rifle. It has M Lock rails on the bottom and the sides medium height scope rings, and a UTG heavy duty recon 360 bipod. So we'll take an up close look at all those. There will also be a link in the description to my review of the 30 caliber and the 25 caliber Gauntlet 2. Today we're checking out the 22. This thing's extremely awesome. So we're gonna shoot this out to 65 yards, blow some stuff up, and as we're doing that, I'll sprinkle in some hardcore stats along the way. Every once in a while, people will email me and say, hey, I'm thinking of getting such and such a PCP for my first PCP. Or maybe they'll say, what do you think is a good first PCP? I always say the same thing. Is that you want to get one that's regulated. And I usually suggest the Avenger. Possibly a Benjamin Fortitude. I would say the Fortitude would be good for someone who just wants to use a hand pump. Has a very small cylinder. And we all know about the Avenger. There's tons of advantages that the Umarex G2 brings to the table. But most importantly, I would have to say is its accuracy. Check out the shooting that I did at 60 yards away. Dang, hit it. That thing sighted right in. Oh, I slipped on the trigger that time. Bam, nailing the bullseye at 65 yards. Light it up. Here's my official 65 yard group. That's so awesome. Just lit it up. I just want you guys to see how far this is. I only had one camera going. I didn't know I was gonna light the bullseye up like that. Wow, there's our five shots we just did right here at 64 yards away. I'm loving it. We'll do more 65 yard shooting later in this video. But first here's what happened when I set up at 30 yards to try and figure out what pellet the Gauntlet 2 was tuned for out of the box. Although I had all my pellets out there all the way down to the 13 grains, I had a pretty good feeling it was going to be tuned for either the 18s or the 25.4 grains. But I went ahead and put some rally sports in there just to see if I could break the sound barrier. Throughout this video, I'll be using the single shot tray because that's always more accurate than a magazine. Alrighty, Roo, see where we hit. <laughs> 1,122 feet per second. Exactly what I was looking for. Alright, next up is a 14.43 JSB. And I clicked over a little bit. Smack that sucker at 1,095 feet per second. All right, now we're getting into the common pellets. A lot of people shoot the 15.89 grain, which is what the Hades and the FX Atomic are going to be in 22 caliber. Smacking the crap out of this target. 1,055 feet per second. One thousand twelve. Let's just shoot a group. See what happens. We are at 30 yards away, so. Scope is super clear. Oh, we just went through the same hole at 1,010 feet per second. Look at that, you guys. Same hole in it at 1,010 feet per second. Look at that. That's awesome. That was our 18 grain going over 1,000 feet per second. That's five shots and four holes. All right, you guys, now we're going to put the heavy hitters in here, the 25.4 grain redesigns. 906, it's about perfect. There's our 890 right there. Yeah, let me sight in. So this should be in the black right now, unless I went over too far. 
Yeah, so I'm able to shoot the scope. It's so clear. I can shoot it with both eyes open, no problem. Great air gun scope, I'll say. You got your basic mill dots right there. Probably all you need. All right, let's go on Mr. Nosy right here. Same hole. Boom, there it is, one hole in it, baby. I think I've seen enough. So let me just one power this and we'll walk on down here. Oh, too bright out there. All right, so look at this group. That is like three holes, five shots, three holes, or maybe two and a half. And then over here, that was our 18 grain going over a thousand feet per second. That's five shots and four holes. So me likey. We got a lot more shooting coming up, so everybody hang in there. Oh my gosh, you guys, this dude right here is sweating. Can you see that? Bro, I thought you were a professional stunt egg. Then we got explosive Santa Claus right here. Real quick, let's do the official 35 yard accuracy test. If you haven't noticed, the G2 is tuned to shoot the heavy 25.39 grain JSB or the 25.4 grain FX pellets. Those are traveling close to 900 feet per second, so they're hitting very, very hard. All right, these are basically the same exact pellet. 25.39 grain JSB and 25.4 grain FX. One thing I love about this gauntlet package, I guess you would call it, is that I fold my bipod forward and then my gun just fits right in the rest. Or you could not fold it. But there's not many guns that you can have a bipod on and put in the rifle rest at the same time. Once again, we're starting out at a very special. 35 yards, nailed it. All right, we got three mile an hour winds. I'm gonna do an official group with these uh, JSB and then we're gonna test out the FX. All right, official group. Awesome group. Sorry I wasn't sighted in like I thought I was. Bam, that is freaking awesome. All right, so I'm gonna take that for my official group and then we'll see if I click over there or then we'll try the FX. Here's the official group with the FX. It's official, 35 yard, dime size groups all day long. And you guys, I could tell through the scope, I was waving all over the place and I still got those groups. Cause like I say, all I had for breakfast was coffee. The Mantis scope that's included with the Gauntlet 2 hunting package is definitely impressive. It's got all the bells and whistles, everything you'd need. Mill dot reticle, which is great for air guns. Waterproof, shockproof, fog proof. And most importantly, it has parallax adjustment. 4 to 12 power is perfect for air guns too. You got some complimentary lens covers there for when you're storing your G2 in the closet. The eyepiece can be adjusted for every user. Has a nice magnification wheel right there. 4 to 12 power. Everything on the scope moves smoothly and works perfectly. You got click adjustments. So you just pop off those caps and click left or right to adjust your crosshairs. Has a click value of 1 quarter inch at 100 yards. Finally, we got the parallax adjustment, and it adjusts all the way down to 5 yards. As well, we got 10 yards, 15, 20, 30, all the way up to 100 yards and infinity. As well, the last thing I'll tell you is that the front, the ring comes off, so you can put a sunshade on there. Great scope paired with the G2, and as you can see with those 65-yard groups, it's an awesome setup. has no problem hitting the bullseye. Now, here's a little accuracy test I did out at 50 yards. And after we get these groups on paper, we'll do a little smack accuracy testing. I was able to sight right in in just four shots. And then here's my official group. All right, we're sighted in. Look at that, you guys. We've got the same group at 50 yards that we did at 35. 
All right, this is actually a uh, little teeny Tic Tac container full of water on Homeboy's head. And everyone's got hats on that are about the size of an American Quarter. So some of these people might lose their heads. This guy actually, though, has a parasite on his head. And this is my friend, the Smurf, so we're definitely going to shoot that off using the surgical precision of my G2. <laughs> that was sweet. Alright, let's do one square to the chest. I think I've shot this guy in the chest before and he survived. Oh, you can't see it. Those are two actual fighter jets that just came. Oh, there they are. Those are real fighter jets, like the kind you see in Top Gun. Boy, they're loud. Anyway, back to our story. <laughs> well, this dude's like deflecting bullets with the force, so we're just gonna leave him alone. Shoot him off the chicken, maybe. Damn it. There we go. Wow, that was cool. All right, I'm going to have to take out that truck. <laughs> that was awesome. Putting shots on target with extreme power and accuracy never gets old. So I had a great time filming this video. The rest of these shots are at 64 yards away. And we're using the uh, FX 25.4 grain pellets. <laughs> How's that for a trick shot? He's literally hiding from me. That is brilliant, buddy. So he's like, well, can you hit a quarter inch? Uh, unfortunately, my friend, I can. 64 yards away. You guys, this is 65 yards, so I sighted in. I did those three, and then I popped over to the next bulls. I did five right there at 65 yards. All right, I'm going to hit this ram right in the head. Now golf ball time, golf ball can bounce the pellets right back at you, so you only want to shoot those from really far away. Flying targets. Boom. And now for the grand finale, taking out some styrofoam cups. That's 65 yards away. I thought I'd get more of an explosion out of these. Let's try hitting it at the bottom. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Oh, man. That's awesome. Oh yeah, Annihilation. Alright everybody, that's it for me on this one. One thing is the field of view through the Mantis scope is actually quite a bit larger than you see in the video here. 
my scope cam just only picked up the center of the picture I guess you'd say very very clear scope if you're looking for just a quick and easy package to get into PCP this is definitely a good one the Mantis scope is nice and clear It'll definitely get you started until you're ready to uh, upgrade to a Hawkeye or something like that. All right, everybody. Till next week. Happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.